the Lord. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, wherever you are and whoever you are. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you and thank you uh, for choosing to join us as we uh, come together in worship in this service uh, today. And wherever you are and whoever you are, scattered around the world, in your homes, wherever you may be following from, we come together as a family of God in His presence. We come together to give Him thanksgiving and praise. We also come together as a family this moment so that we may hear and receive His word. We come not only to receive His word, but also to lift up our voices in prayer, to pray for our needs and the needs of everyone in the world. We come together as a family that we may together ask forgiveness for our sins. Because, brothers and sisters, if any one of us claims to be without sin, the Scriptures say we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let me now invite you to take a moment as you open your heart to God and ask that He, by His Spirit, will search your heart. And if there be anything that stands between you and Him, anything that hinders you from worshipping Him in spirit and truth, why don't you take a moment to lay it at His feet? As we turn to Him in repentance, as we turn to Him in prayer, Jesus says the Father seeks those who will worship in spirit and in truth. And so this morning, this moment, wherever you are and whoever you are, may there be nothing that keeps you from fellowship with God. Let me invite you so that together we can say the general confession as we pray together saying, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our fellow men in thought, in word, and in deed, through negligence, through weakness, and through our own deliberate faults. We are truly sorry, O Lord, and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name, amen. Brothers and sisters, as is promised by God in his word, the almighty God who forgives all who sincerely repent, have mercy upon you. May he pardon and deliver you from all your sin. May he confirm and strengthen you in all goodness. And may the same Lord keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ. Our Lord, we pray. Brothers and sisters, as we join our friends around the world, in the Anglican calendar, today we celebrate the 12th Sunday in Trinity, and this is our collect for today. O oh Lord God, whose blessed Son and our Savior gave his back to the smiters, and he did not hide his face from shame, please give us grace to endure all sufferings of this present time with sure confidence in the glory that shall be revealed. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O oh Lord, we pray, open our lips. O oh Lord, we pray, open our lips and our mouths shall sing your praise. Well, friends, let me now invite us to sing songs of praise and worship to God together. Wherever you are, sing, jump, clap, but let's worship the Lord with all that we are. And let me invite my friends. Please lead us as we sing together. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. It is a very good morning, and we really thank God so much for today. Our God is so loving. Our God is so caring. Our God is so mighty. Amen. 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 So I'll invite you in your houses, wherever you are, wherever you're watching it from. Let us just praise our Lord. Let us sing these songs of praise. Amen. 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 To the King of Kings, 
You're the Lord of Lords. You're so worthy of all the praise and honor. And so we worship you, oh Lord.
worship you. I worship you. You were here, moving in the midst. I worship you. I worship you.
is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. Even though sometimes we don't feel, even though sometimes we don't see, yet God, you are continually working. Lord, you never sleep. Lord, you never slumber. And so this moment we come to exalt you. We declare with our lips, we proclaim through our music that you are the King of kings, the great I am. With God, no, there is nothing that is hidden from your sight. The psalmist says, even if I run to the farthest ends of the earth, there you will find me. Even if I go to the depths of the valley, into the darkest of darkness. Lord, you are there. Lord, even in our difficult moments, you are right there with us. Even in our moments of confusion, we thank you because you are there with us. Even when it doesn't seem to make sense, the truth is that you are still there with us. Thank you, Jesus. This is what you say in your word when you spoke to the disciples. You say that I am going to the Father and I will send you the promised spirit and he will be with you to the very end of the age. And so this moment, we declare and proclaim you are with us. And I want to now speak to any one of you who is listening. You just in your moment say, God, Emmanuel. God, Emmanuel. Because Emmanuel says, God with us. Say, God, you are with me. Say, God, you are with me. Lord, we pray for our country, Uganda, right now. And Lord, whatever we are going through, Lord, we proclaim, you are with us. Even as a nation, when, when we are struggling, when we're not sure what is happening economically, politically, and certainty, Lord, even in these times, you are with us. We pray. We pray for our leaders. Praying, beginning with the president of our dear country, His Excellency Yorika Guta Museveni. And Lord, we ask that you will continue to surround him Lord, will you surround him with men of wisdom and counsel who will advise him? Lord, give all our leaders the courage to do that which is right because you are with them. Let them not be afraid to stand up for what is true, Lord, we pray. Stir their hearts with courage to do that which is right because God, you are with us. You have sustained us this long. You have protected us this long. We have faced wars. We have had earthquakes. We've had all sorts of difficulties, yet God, you have seen us through. We ask, therefore, God, not only will you assure us as a people, but as a church, that Jesus, you being the head, even through what we're going through, you are continually transforming us, building us into a living temple in which you reside by your spirit. And so we pray for our bishop. We pray for the priests and ministers. We pray for pastors. We pray for mentors around the country, disciple makers, that we will continually to continue to walk with Jesus. And now, oh God, I pray especially for the families represented by all those who are listening and joining us in this service. Lord, in this moment, may you give them an assurance that you are working in their lives. Because that is who you are. Even though sometimes, Lord, we cannot see it, yet you are still working. And so we give you thanks and we give you praise. 
For those who are sick, the Lord healeth you. Those of you who are confused and unsure, the Holy Spirit right now be your counselor, your guide. Those who lack, be it physical need, whatever it is, the Lord be your provider right now. You who are troubled, the Lord is your peace right now. And He is working in your life. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it. Even when I don't feel it. Lord, you're working. You are working. One more time, even, never stop, you never stop even, 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 when I don't even see working, yes, Lord, even when I don't oh, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working. And so, friends, the grace of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit remain with each one of you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's bless the Lord with a hand cup of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, friends, I'm so grateful for this opportunity to welcome you once again uh, to the house of the Lord, wherever you are in worship. Listen, I just would like, as we prepare ourselves to hear the word of God, um, let me take some time to read uh, from the scriptures. Uh, just so that you are aware, uh, I am Reverend John Musalako. I serve here at Bugolib Church of the Resurrection, and we have the wonderful privilege of hearing the word of God which will be brought to us by uh, Reverend Dina Natukunda, uh, you're very welcome, Reverend Dina. In a short while, we will hear from you, and we're looking forward to hearing what God has laid on your heart. If you have your Bibles, will you follow along as we read his word? The first scripture is from Exodus, the 26th verse, chapter 15. Exodus, chapter 15, and verse 26 says, If you will diligently listen to the voice of the Lord your God and do that which is right in his eyes and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians for I am the Lord your healer. I want to ask that you will also follow along as I read beginning in the 11th verse of Chapter 7 from the Gospel of Luke. Soon afterwards, Jesus went with his disciples to the village of Nain, and a large crowd followed him. A funeral procession was coming out as he approached the village gate. The young man who had died was the widow's only son, and a large crowd from the village was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart overflowed with compassion. Don't cry, he said. Then he walked over to the coffin and touched it, and the bearers stopped. Young man, he said, I tell you, get up. Then the dead boy sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. Great fear swept the crowd, and they praised God, saying, A mighty prophet has arisen among us, and God has visited his people today. Brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Let us now uh, welcome Reverend Dina Natukunda, who will share 
God's word with us. Heavenly Father, King of Kings, we thank you for this wonderful morning. We pray that you come in our midst to speak to us. Father, we want to hear from you from this time where so many problems, so many hardships. May you speak that we may hear you. May you silence all other voices that we may hear your voice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all of you that are listening to us and those that are willing to hear the word of God. I know some people are not well to hear, but God has blessed you to listen. So I pray that Lord will open your inner ears to understand the message that given that we are going to share right now. I've heard my names and I serve in this parish, the priest in charge of Kasokoso Church of Uganda. Uh, the topic given to me is, I'm the Lord that hears. And we have heard the scripture from Exodus chapter 15. That's where this theme comes from. But I will be having all other references to share because the word of God is full of messages that can touch us at this time. I would like to define the word healing. Healing is the restoration of one to full health who has been ill in body or mind or both. In psychological disorders, the term is used to describe an improved mental state. We also know that there is physical or medical healing that one receives after a treatment. And God is the author of everyone's healing. God is the one who heals all our diseases, as he promises us in Psalm chapter 103, verse 3. It says, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. God is faithful and he's able. When you continue in his word, you see different words and different scriptures that tell us that he really healed. Even today, when medical and surgical skill is so developed, God is the healer. Using men trained and untrained, to do his work for him in the same way that he uses the governing authorities to maintain order and execute just justice in the world. When you want to know this message about the authority, you will read from Romans chapter uh, 13, 1 to, to 5. Uh, and I was thinking about the terms and conditions that we are given unto right now in this time of COVID-19. I'm happy that in this congregation, praise and worship, we have a doctor who can tell us what it takes to refuse to listen or to take the SOPs. People have not listened completely. And when you continue, he see even uh, Paul was advising Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 23, warning him, do not take only water, but take this and that. And we have been cautioned in our country and, and health-wise that we should not take a lot of alcohol, smoking, drugs, and so many things that can affect our health. So uh, the scripture that we have read, we shall also see it as we move on. So we need to listen to instructions God is using the trained the, uh, and untrained to teach us how to, we can live in a healthy life. Um, see now, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, to, uh, verse 39. See now that I myself am he. There is no God beside me. I put to death and bring to life. I have wounded 
and I will heal. And no one can deliver out of my hand. Praise the Lord. This is God telling us, and above there we have seen him, that he is the author of healing. So even when we are wounded, even when pains are on us, even when we are affected with different, uh, different challenges, God is ready and willing to heal us. I understand that there are those who have gone through sicknesses and they think that they can't get healed. And it's like generation after generation uh, family sickness and everyone is saying, no, uh, this one can't go out of us. I want to encourage you and to tell you that our God is the healer and he's willing to touch us and to heal our hearts and our wounds. There are other means when you are reading the word of God from uh, Old Testament and New Testament, they also show us that there are other means of healing. Even in biblical times, when so few treatments for diseases, for diseases existed, men were encouraged and expected to use the means that were available. Yes. Uh, even those days, even those times, people would get treatments and get healed. And some people have said that these hubs no longer work. People say hubs do not work because now we have gotten these medical things. So those ones do not work. But even during those days, people would get uh, medicines and get healed. And I want to encourage you that you may read the Bible. There are those who are saying we can't take it. Just read Isaiah chapter 38, verse 21, where we see Nehemiah was guided. Um, was guided on, um, on how he can get healed. Uh, I think he's Hezekiah, sorry, Hezekiah, uh, to get healed. So even God would use the means of that time. God would use the means that people can be touched on and get healed. And I want to encourage you that if you have faith, faith can heal your body. Faith can change your life. Faith can restore your life and you move again. Um, people have refused to listen to the voice of God. There are those who are saying God does not work. God is not able to do this. Even during this time of, 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 of COVID-19, people are still saying God has failed to do this. Uh, there are people that I have met, especially uh, the drunkards, when you get to them and you speak to them, they say, ah, ah, if your God can work, let him take away this COVID. And one time I told them that how can you understand that he has done it if you are not in him? Even when you do not have faith in him and you are saying that he, can, uh, he has failed, have you ever tested him to see that he can do it? So true faith in God, gladly and gratefully, uses such means as are uh, available, wherever medicines, blood transfusions, or surgical operations to prevent death as much as life jackets to let people not draw. All these are used and are being done. And I'm happy that sometimes we are told, so it is until when you will have true faith that all these that you need will be done in your life. Various terms are currently used to describe healing that occurs without the use of means and in the response to faith. Because all the healing comes from God. And that is the term we use, divine healing, which God uses to touch our hearts, to heal us. But there is one word that I made today as I was preparing my message in Matthew chapter 13, verse 58. And he did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith. Do you know that some, most of us have refused to listen to God? Do you know that people have lost faith completely? People lack faith. And when the voice speaks to you that you can get healed, and you say, no, 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 no. Know that you will never get healed, and Jesus will leave you. So you need to be stable and have that faith in you that you may receive total healing. There is also spiritual healing, which suggests more, uh, suggests 
more the restoration of health to the spirit than the body, and moreover, may be confused with work of other spirits who in the name of the devil can produce irrelevant healing. There are, there are people who have thought that those irrelevant healing also, there are those ones that are called spirits that can, people can believe in and say they can work for them. I just want to speak to the people this morning that if you are still thinking of other gods to do the will of God, you are wasting your time. You will go there and everything shall be taken from you. Even you will lose your life. I want to tell you that those who are using other mighties to, 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 to tell people that they can do miracles, that is wastage of time. Just come back to God and seek him. That is irrelevancy. So seek God. Faith healing is a helpful term so long as the object of faith is clear. You must be clear in your faith and the way you believe and the way you talk and the way you trust God. Once you put your life in God and set your minds unto him, he's going to change your life and you will see his goodness and you will see his anointing and you will walk when your head is up because God has done it for you. Hallelujah. It is miraculous. There is miraculous healing. That is instant healing. That one receives within a second. You receive a healing within a minute. You receive a healing. And I want to tell you such healing was there before. And we still believe in that instant healing. Which is from, uh, we have seen the scripture. That is uh, Luke chapter seven, uh, chapter, chapter 7. And when you read the whole book, you will find different things that God has done. You will find that people were healed. You will see that even through faith. I always sing this song that uh, I learned when I was in school. For it is Jesus. For it is Jesus. Is Jesus in my heart. For I have touched the Hem of his garment and his blood has made. When you look at this woman, she had tried many, many things until when she touched the hem of Jesus Christ and got healed. It is until when you will take a step of faith and touch the hem of Jesus Christ and receive that power of healing. And you will see many people, and you will understand that God can heal. You will pray for people, they get healed. You will touch people, they will get healed. Because he tells us in his word that I have given you power and authority. You have the power and authority. Just take a step and have that faith that God can change your heart, that you can pray for people and, they, and get healed. You can touch them, they receive the healing. By faith, you will do great things. And we have heard the word that was read to us. For the time being, you will read there and understand the message of the Lord. Uh, I want to conclude with the chapter, uh, sorry, with the book that we read as Exodus. Chapter, chapter um, 15, verse 26. It says, He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Hallelujah. Terms and conditions. You need to understand, God, all this that you've heard from me and from the word of God will be done to you if you, take, if you listen and follow what God commands you to do. You will not walk the way you want without listening to the voice of God and you expect to get healed. 
It is until when you will bow down and say, God, I want to walk with you. I want to listen to you. And I want to be yours. And that's when you will command. And by faith, the sickness that you, are, you have will go in Jesus' name. So do not just despise the word of God. Take time and read it. Think about it. And sh share it in your heart and say, can this word work for me? And you will get healed. Just command that sickness. Just tell that sickness. Because we know that as God was creating us, he didn't put sickness in our bodies. He didn't create all that we think that has failed, doctors have failed to do. No. So you have the power to have faith in your heart and tell that sickness and the work of the enemy that has been in your life to go and it will listen to you and will go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening to me. I just want to let you know that Christ is for you. Give your life to him. Set your minds to him. Just to release yourself and tell him every sickness that you have. Just stand and walk out of that house. And whatever we have heard, he would command just to raise up and walk. Stand up and walk. Move. Pick your mat and go. We see this beggar and was told us, just stand up and go because he wants to heal you. Just come out of what you are, you are, you are still tied in. Set your minds upon God. He will heal you. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word. And I pray for your people that have, could have given their lives to you, Lord, to stand up and walk and come out of all the sicknesses that they have because you are the healer. Those diseases do not belong to us. And I command every sickness that in each one's heart, each one's body, that body belongs to God. I command every power of the enemy that has been watching over you. I command every demons that have been walking into your life, that have made you to stumble. And even you have lost faith in the Lord, just to come out of you and walk with the Lord. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is a healer. God, there is nothing, there is no sickness. If God could bring a dead person back to life, how will he not heal you of any disease while you're living? Trust, put your faith in God as Reverend Dina has challenged us. I, I'm not the preacher for today, but why don't we appreciate Reverend Dina? Reverend Dina, thank you so, so, so much as, as, uh, for encouraging and telling us with the word of God. Brothers and sisters, the Apostles' Creed, I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Poetius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church. I believe in the communion of saints. I believe in the forgiveness of sins and the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Well, as we prepare to conclude our service, we are going to uh, collect, take up our offerings. And so I'd like to encourage you, pick up your offering um, and hold it in your hand. I'm going to pray with you um, and prepare to, to, to send in your offerings. But as you're preparing your offerings, I would just like to uh, make some few ministry notices. Uh, first of all, of course, continue to thank you all uh, for continually standing with us, continually supporting us, continually praying uh, for us and the ministry of the church. Um, and as, I, as we pray, uh, the details of where you can send your money to the church are uh, coming up on the screen. Uh, if you want to deposit money, we have the safety deposit box. You can bring it physically. Um, and listen, friends, it might be money. It might be physical food, physical material things. Please bring them because there are people who are in need. We will receive them 
We receive them with glad hearts and we bless you as we seek to bless other people as well. Um, allow me to publish bans of marriage. And as I do so, I just want to tell you, listen, keep watching because very soon something special is coming. The youth, the BAYC, I'm not going to say much more than that, but keep your ear to the ground as they will say, don't touch the dial, keep, keep asking, keep looking, or something really special is coming up. Here are the bands of marriage. I publish these bands uh, for the third time. Paul Omuron uh, of Kumi District and Juliet Chemtai of Kapchorwa District. Edward Etwani of Kumi District and Rachel Asana of Ngora District. Andrew Jordan Bamwine of uh, Chadondo in Kampala District and Brenda Komugabo of Bushenyi District. These three persons, or three, these three couples rather, intend to be wed in church. And if anyone knows the reason why they should not be uh, wed here in church, please come let us know so that we can minister to them appropriately. But now, um, I'm going to ask, if you have your offering, let's pray and give thanks to God. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your gift, your gift of life. We give you thanks for the gifts, many gifts in life that you give us as well. And we ask, Lord, that even as we bring of what you have given to us, that your blessing be upon not just the gifts we bring, but especially our hands, that with our hands we'll continue to serve you. We continue to bless. We continue to lift. We continue to guard. We continue to provide. We continue to protect because, God, these hands are your hands and our hearts are your hearts. So, Lord, bless and bless these are offerings in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let me ask now the, whole, the, 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 the team of singers, please lead us in song. As we sing, please feel free to send in your offering.
Thank you for all your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for what lies ahead of us. Because you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. You will be with us to heal us from all our diseases. Spiritually from dying. Heal us physically from all manner of illness. Thank you, Lord. You will heal us from poverty. You will heal us from ignorance. You will heal us from backwardness. You will heal us. You are God, our healer, and our deliverer. So thank you. And brothers and sisters, in keeping, may the Lord keep you. In providing, may the Lord provide for you. In watching, may he watch over you. And the peace of God which is more than you can understand. That peace, keep your hearts and mind in the love and the knowledge of God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, remain with you, and all those who are dear to you now and forever. Amen and amen, amen. Well, brothers and sisters, I thank you. We say thank you to you for joining us. We trust that you have been blessed, you have been challenged, you have been encouraged. Listen, if you're looking for someone to pray with, there are contact numbers that come up on the screen, please call. Or maybe you want to come to the church, please come. You may find someone who will talk and pray with you. If you cannot come here, if you cannot speak to us, Look for a church where Jesus Christ is preached and proclaimed. And listen, tell them, listen, I want to know God more. I want to walk with God. I want to know the healing power of God in my life. And listen, brother and sister, God, through them, will encourage you, will help you as you walk. Well, now, as we conclude our service, I'm going to ask our team, please lead us in one more song as we wind our service. Otherwise, thank you. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you.
Joy shall fill. 